panels are coming off. Zach is using just a flat pry bar and some cardboard to just kind of leverage these little black, what would you call these? Black? Fasteners, <laughs> Fasteners maybe? Fasteners, yeah, that hold up the panels. And then now he's just doing this big side door. for today is to clean using more of a so originally we just did that soap and water cleaning of the floors and so now we're taking more of an alcohol based cleaner and wiping down the walls because our plan is to get that metal nice and clean and then we um, need to put our sound deadeners in there so popped out the panels from the side of the door. He popped out the back door panels as well. And now we're just cleaning away so we can get those sound deadeners put in. Yeah, like if you like zoom in here, like you see this. I'm trying to take that off. Like these other little marks, like this one's done up here, and see how much whiter that is. Still little marks from stuff inside the van, but it will come through and there's just little tiny things left over. Make this a little bit of tape. We'll like take all this little tiny stuff off and keep cleaning the wipe in. And there'll be more. The walls will be pretty easy um, up top, but once we get down low, like if you look by, back by these wheel wells and mm -hmm. things, there'll be more. Just wear and tear. More stuff. So we'll wipe that down. And but other than that, I mean, honestly, it's it's in pretty good shape. Like especially under these like these panels that were fully on, like the door, and then this. Um, from our perspective now, like this left one, but if you're looking outside the car, the right door, pretty clean underneath too. So those will be a quick wipe. And then we'll, we can do the ceiling and stuff as well. And yeah, the wiping should be pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So we'll knock that out real quick. All right, so we have everything is wiped down. It immediately looks 10 times better. Like everything just looks so much more white, shiny, get all the dirt and grime. Like we're finishing up this. Like if you look at that, that's kind of like how it was all along the van. And that's what the last spot's about to be cleaned up. But now it's just this really nice white, which will be great because then the adhesive will stick to everything much better. Um, so that's what we'll do next is We'll do um, adhesive, meaning the sound deadening panels. So we'll do that next. I think I even, did I even get dirty on my face? Um, yeah, we'll do that next. And then there'll be one spot we'll talk about on the, on the floor afterward. And then after that, we'll be, I think in pretty good shape. Do we, was there anything else we were gonna try to do? Any other projects just for this it, video? Clean it up, sound deadeners, take care of the one spot on the floor that we'll talk about, but. Yeah, other than that, the cleaning was huge. I mean, the soap and water did a pretty decent job when we first started, but this, like, all-purpose cleaner is really getting all of the grime. It really wasn't yeah. too bad, though. Like, we can't complain. We can tell that it was used as a work truck for a few years. I mean, it's not even that old. It's 2019. But um, it really, I mean, wasn't awful. Just No, just like that, we mentioned a little layer of grime. That's about it then yeah we'll hop to the front and we'll do some of the other stuff here but let's get these panels on next and bam it's the first one so we just wanted to make sure that it's stuck I know with it being colder out um, we just wanted to make sure that everything would come together and that we wouldn't say we're gonna get something done and then not be able to do it so I think everything will work out well with these we'll stick all these on and put all the panels up. I think we'll have enough too. We'll do one on each of these big ones. Here we go. Sound 
Edners are in. Zach did an awesome job with the wheel wells. Yep, and then we also got inside the door as well. And then the back two doors have a little bit of the panels as well. We just had a couple little leftovers. So not every inch is covered, but we're hoping it'll make a difference with just the road vibrations and just the general noises. Right, and there'll be more of the foam insulation and all that other stuff that will kind of help deaden the sound and, and stuff like that. But then the next thing we'll do is, uh, like if you look around, uh, there's some, some spots with some rust care, so we're gonna kind of spot treat for now, but Sarah. We have a visitor <laughs> who's off camera. Uh, if you zoom in or show them any of these, like these tow hooks, these are all going to come off. We need another star bit to take these off. So we need to pop these guys out too. So instead of just doing the whole thing, we're going to stop um, and just do like a little demonstration of what we're going to do for the rest of it. So then the next time you see the floor, it will all be spot treated and spray painted with like our rust oleum spray paint. So then um, we already kind of gave it a little test run, but there's still a little bit of rust here, but everything that we've read and done with some of the rust care is that you want to take it all off. So we'll do that next. So that is, uh, we finished wiping the walls. All the walls are wiped. We put in all the deadening panels. Um, we spot cleaned. One thing of rust and we'll probably do that next or all of the rest of these next as soon as we take care of these um, tow handles, tow hitch spots, whatever you wanna call them. Um, and then next steps are going to be Oh, we also took out all those extra panels. It's like this one was broken. Honestly, it looks better this way. And then the eventual goal will be um, we can take this one that was intact uh, and we can outline it onto a piece of wood that we'd like uh, and the thickness that we'd like. And it'll, we'll even be able to know where all the holes are at and everything. And we'll just, we can put holes in and boom, those two panels um, will be made of wood so that'll start to look good um that stuff won't come for a little bit though but yeah like i said next steps um will be spot treating and then eventually we'll look at insulation power system and then kind of do a walkthrough on how to or how we are going to put together all of our um like our layout like we'll have another you know possibly we're talking about like a seat um maybe over here on the other side of this wheel well like maybe a little bench that might come out a little bit into the doorway, but then we can store stuff. Then we'd have our bed here. Then eventually down the road, this will take a little bit longer of time, but we'll have probably, we're hoping to do cabinets. That will be a bigger challenge, um, as well as we'll be doing our vent installation. I mean, I could go on and on. So a lot to come, but that's it on this video, and we hope you guys enjoyed it. And so this this is should be our third video, so I, you know, whatever you guys have question wise as we continue on, like shoot us a message. You can use our link tree or you can comment on the videos, whatever works better for you. Um, thanks. Yeah, we appreciate it. Super excited to keep on adding to the build.